Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now this is video number 932. Let me write that little planner. So I can try to keep it organized on here. Okay. Now, I want to call this one. Whenever you know you're in these storms of your life and you got this donkey, your antichrist thinking, your redemic thinking, talking to you, loud, screaming at you. There's a whole bunch of that junk in there. You get to see the Christ talking in that still small voice when you listen to the Christ. Don't listen to this donkey. I'm calling this one Treat Your Dumbass Donkey. Treat Your Donkey. Huh? Facetiously. <laughs> now. Let's go in there, because it's opposed. It's directly opposed to the rightful king. It's a squatting king. Okay? Let's talk about this. Facetiously is an adjective describing your dumb donkey. Your dumb donkey thinking. Call it. Throw the bullshit flag on the play, on that thing. Man, you're crazy crap. You want me to eat that stuff? Want me to buy into your good and evil stuff? I'm going with God. I'm laying this crap down. I ain't getting up trying to help God do that. What the heck? Lay down, worship, prosecute, you know, kiss as a dog looking at his master's hand. Here, master. The Christ, not this Antichrist thinking. Treat it facetiously. Now, let's look at that facetiously. Hmm? This opposite of reverence. Reverence. God, don't fear him. It's like fearing. This is fear. Huh? No, treat this facetiously and treat, treat God with reverence. Honor, the deepest honor and respect. Oh, adoration. Father, you are the greatest. You are my exceeding great reward. I wish to exist, exist, exist back into you, the self-existent one. I want to be like God, not like this stuff. This ego, my own antichrist thinking, has to go, has to hit the road, you Jacob. Beat it, dog. I don't want you no more, no more. All right. Hmm. All right. Now, look, just facetiously, treat this dumb donkey thinking that's not speaking, a dumb ass donkey, huh? That's not speaking in the love of God, huh? It's not speaking in the love of God. It's speaking some other tongue called your dumbass tongue <laughs> or whatever. It's facetious. Treat it facetiously. Be disrespectful. Defame this thing. Facetiously is deliberately inappropriate with, a, with deliberate inappropriate humor. <laughs> you dumbass. Make fun of it. It's mocking you when you choose God. And when other people outside you are saying, man, it's just a dry sense of humor. No, they're speaking on a dumbass donkey nature. Eat some of this stuff too, it's good. Poop thinking. Don't take no part in it. Ooh, yucky poop. Right? It's mockery. Don't don't mock God. Huh? God is not mocked. Mankind thinking will reap what it sows to you. Sow to that flesh, you reap corruption and destruction. Poop. So, so to the spirit, you reap the life of the ages. Boop. Swirl the time. So to the red way, the yuck, your antichrist way, you're going down the shitter. You sow to God. Well, inappropriate. To treat this thing, this way, this thing, well, it's telling you, quack, 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 I'm over here, this way, you to God. It's your own carnality, your own non-spiritual thinking. There's proof right here. Treat it, what was that? Deliberate, with deliberate, inappropriate, deliberately inappropriate humor. You dumbass, I'm really going to believe your butt, right? Get out of here. Here's a sock and duct tape. What? You're not really taking the hurt in your animal doing that. 
You're hurting this beast out here. It's no good. It's no good. Filthy mistress, stinking rags. Ooh, yuck! You lollipop giving. Uh. Huh? You diabolos, lost. That's an adjective. You false accuser. You call him on. Not spiritual mind. It's actively hostile and opposed. Do you go back to towards an into God's right mind? It's ice. Right? Read Roman. Read and study. Get down in there. In Romans chapter 8, verse 7. It's not your friend. It's not your buddy. It's your pal. It's an enemy. It's your adversary. It's a thief. A robber. It only comes to steal, kill, and destroy you. Treat that stuff. Treat this daggone false. Urgh. Accusing mocker of your Lord. This Goliath thinking, if you will, that 10 foot tall giant. Smack it in the head with the rock, Christ. Whack, right between the eyes, right in your mind. Right where that 666 thinking, right where that log is. Smack it with the rock, with the Christ. Zap it out, father. Yes, sir. Flawless victory. Zap, right, right in between your eyes. Like throw that little David, throwing that stone, the Christ. Whack! Knock it out and then take the word of God. Study to show yourself approved, a worker that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing or accurately handling the word of truth. Word of God. Huh? Second, second, second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Study it. And use it. Exercise your faith in God. Cut off the head. Take the identity from this thing. Treat it with deliberate. Uh, treat it deliberately. Inappropriate humor. You dig old jackass. Get out of here. Defame this stuff. Be disrespectful to this stuff. Not disrespectful to God. That's your aid. Your help. Your everything. He's the only way out of this duality, double-minded stuff. This double-minded stuff is a bunch of crap. Get me out of here, Father. I'll lay this stuff down. I'm not going to stay up here and fight and act like I'm trying to help you and I'm hitting you and pound you down in the earth, bury you in the earth, in my own earthly thinking. Hmm. And try to say it's a devil out there. No, it isn't. You're trying to describe it, and maybe you're describing what God's trying to do. He's bringing you to these storms, this thalipsis. He puts you in his fiery trials so that you'll believe him. His argument, his explanation, and the intensification, and these fiery pressure trials to fuse that back to God, to bring you up into a higher, more glorious element, if you will, Dense in his character. Pop, 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 pop. Coming back up to like lead and, and uh, gold. His nature, character, and authority. Back into the love of God. See? Split this little ball. And nuclear fission. Nuclear fission. Coming up to nuclear fusion. Even greater power. The highest. So treat this thing facetiously. This dumb donkey. Dumb ass donkey. It's not speaking the love of God. It says, oh, this God. Hmm? It says, God's going to throw you in hell, but he really loves you. It's not, that's not the nature of character authority. God, that's his squatting king telling you, oh, bark, 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 bark. Call all kinds of animal. Sneaky snake. Quacking, squacking, squirrel over there. Going, squack, squack, I'm over here. Hello. Here you are hunting for the will of God. What do you want, God? And it's over here. Squack, a squack, quack, a squack. Like a real noisy squirrel. Eat some of this nuts over here. No nuts like I am. <laughs> Treat it facetiously. It's a dumb ass donkey. Dumb, mute. About speaking the love of God. It's an ass. Huh? Like a parakeet. It's really a beast nature. But no matter what saying, quack, quack, probably give me a cracker, probably want a cracker, mock, 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 hour. <laughs> Stupid. It's not really thinking it out. Probably tell us all you could, because I see so. Phylacteries. Poop. A little box around your neck, hanging there, with little 
scriptures on it, so, but they're twisted all to your own destruction. This thing's very good at it. I treat that dumb donkey in your mind. There's two in your field, two in your earth, two in this thinking mind here where God's doing the relationship rebuilding process, reassembling you. He's making his appearance in you as you agree with him. Bop, bop, bop. He's coming alive. He's alive again. He's taking out that stony heart like in Ezekiel. He's taking out the stony heart and giving you a fleshly heart, a soft, pliable heart back into God. Not this rock hard bullshit. Like rubberized concrete. You can't hit this thing with a hammer. Boing! And bust you in the head. What the heck happened? Boing! Hit a boing and pow! Hmm? Treat this thing, what it's telling you, your own carnal mindedness, non-spiritual mindedness, and it's opposed to God, opposed to you going two towards and into God, treat it facetiously. Man, you be deliberately inappropriate in your humor towards this thing. Yeah, sure, I'm going to believe you, you dumbass dog, you dumbass donkey. Get out of here, here's a sock of duct tape for you. <laughs> Be still. Hmm? Lay down. Lay down, you dog. Get under the feet of God. Under God's lifestyle. I'm agreeing with Christ. All you want to eat with 35 zeros after it, minus the one, I'm going with the one, Christ. And it's going to grow. It's going to increase and you're going to decrease as God zaps it out. Let there be like <laughs> zap. He's going to generate, cause you to come into being, back into existence in the self existent one. Oh, wow. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes, sir, daddy. Amen. I agree. Yo, man, you are the greatest. Oh, yes. Uh huh. This stuff's dumb. New. Dumbass, make fun of it, mock this thing here. Huh? You're showing a love to God. Be a love slave to God, not a love slave to this stuff. Man, I just love eating them poop hot dogs, you know, and drinking my own piss and not. You say, man, there's a big world to God. This thing's laughing its butt off at you. You're so mixed up, double minded, you're doing that. Eating right out, you're down playing in the cesspool of your own car of mine. Outhouse. Having a good old time. Treat this facetiously. Be inappropriate. Use in, deliberately inappropriate humor with this thing. This thing's dumbass. Don't let it get off the hook by saying, well, I just have a dry sense of humor. Yeah, that's that piss. It's dehydrated from the word of God, and it's like rubberized concrete. It's dry, but it's dumb. Get rid of it. Ooh, yuck. Spray me off, Father. Psh. No, annihilate it. No, flawless victory. Finish him. Crash. Because <laughs> I'm a rocket man. Coming back into the mind of Christ. Bum, ba -da, ba -da, boom, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -da. So this. Dumbass donkey, your own donkey thinking, your beast nature at six, 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 hundred percent of your ruling, squatting, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, that log in your eye. Be facetious with that thing. Deliberately. Use deliberate, inappropriate humor with that thing. Mock it. Not Christ. Reverence him. You are the greatest daddy God and be grateful. Oh my goodness, watch your um, gratitude grow in Christ as he brings you up through like the spiritual elements, if you will, from hydrogen to helium, all the way up to this gold and the lead and bringing this inappropriate radioactive stuff back down, radioactive decay. All those forces, those four natural forces, gravity, weak, strong nuclear force, and uh, electromagnetism are coming all back together whenever God's funneling in through his funnel correction, bringing you into oneness with him, like into a black hole 
where all this red dog thing can't see what's going on in there. Like them trying to look from the outside when they threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, speaking of the three ages in your earth, you in that fiery furnace said, What's going on in there? Trying to look past it like that creation desk of a black hole. What's going on in there? <laughs> they just get blown up. They get part of that accretion disc. They don't get to go in there. Maybe they do. <laughs> they get burned up. <laughs> and God, God has to purify it. Nothing can go into the Father except through Christ. Huh? Channeling. Of an act. Dia. Right? All right. So, the name of this one, be facetious. They say, uh, treat your own donkey nature facetiously. Amen. I agree. I sign on the contract. Mock at soccer. Reverence God. When you come to the storms of your life, reverence God and great gratitude to grow. Oh, let God give you increase and mock this sucker. Treat it facetiously. Have a great day. If you like these, hit like, subscribe, and let's keep going. Be emphatic for God. Treat this stuff facetiously. Amen.